things, but I want to kind of show you the downside catalyst today so far. Remember, Dell Computer, the world's second biggest computer maker, reported their earnings and offered a very cautious outlook about their sales growth in the coming months here. So again, tech sector weakness, tech stocks are pacing the declines right now. They're down, they're the biggest sector loser in the S&P 500. Watch those. Another big factor right now, jobless claims higher. It kind of maybe slipped under some people's radars, but yes, people continue to file more initial jobless claims. Not a good sign. Above now, that psychologically important 400,000 per week level. Watch those numbers as well. Also, a dismal, I can't even find other way to say, uh, say it here, a dismal Philly Fed, minus 30.7 here. Though those, those levels that we're talking about in the Philly Fed are typically indicative of what happens in bear markets and recessions. That's what traders are saying out there right now. So watch those numbers. And of course, we're overall watching what's happening with the S&P 500 right now because that sharp turn here has kind of broken down through some trends. This is the level we were looking at right here. Around there is 1,200. Now that we're below that, could there be a retest of the lows? That was back down here. Again, that was 1,100, the intraday lows that we saw. So again, Margaret, as we pay attention to this, we'll bring in more developments as they come. But for right now, traders don't want to be in the markets. They want to sell, and it's being shown right now in what's happening with red all over the board, Margaret. All right, Dom Chu, uh, one of the big headlines uh, out this morning uh, hit us hard. Treasury yields, take a look at them. They're reaching a record low. The 10-year note yield was below 2%. We should be just about right at that 2% level once again. Sarah Eisen has been following a tremendous action, Sarah. Tremendous action, Margaret. We have never, ever seen the 10-year Treasury yield fall below 2%. But just a few minutes ago, we saw it for the first time ever, and there you can see it is hovering right around that 2% level. You know something is really, really wrong in the world economy, because even when we were in the depths of the financial crisis back in December 2008, if you look at a chart there, you can see we were not this low. Yields were just trading above 2%. Then, that was December 2008, the worst crisis since the Great Depression. Now, the 10-year yield is below that level. And yields have really been falling all morning long. That surprise drop that you reported, Margaret, in manufacturing in the Philadelphia area, the most in more than two years. Just more bad news, icing on the cake. I also want to show you what's happening over in Europe, in the U.K., in Germany, because those bonds are also considered safe, like the U.S. Treasuries, and those yields on the 10-year just hit records, following in the footsteps of the 10-year Treasury yield, down to levels we have never seen before. Yeah, well, we were just talking to Wayne Angel, former Fed governor, about that, about what the bond market is actually telling us about the real level of fear. And he was saying, you know, we're not seeing those historical patterns play out with the inversion of the yield curve that would indicate we're headed into recession. What are strategists telling you, though? What is the, the, the perception on the street? Well, I just messaged Mike Pond. He is the head of interest rates at Barclays. He said the pressure is building on Ben Bernanke, the Fed chairman, going into next week's Jackson Hole meeting. Remember, at that meeting last year, Ben Bernanke first started hinting at QE2. No question the bar is higher for QE3 this time around. But he says if you look at the market, you see days like this with the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropping more than 400 points and the 10-year Treasury at a record low, it puts pressure on the Fed to do something. Then we also heard from MKM's Mike Darda, an economist. He's looking at the long bond. There it is. It's the 30-year bond, the long bond. He says the collapse there is a particularly ominous sign. He says it's an unambiguous sign of weaker growth, the U.S. on the brink of a recession. All right. Sarah.